draw order. Let's take a look at how draw order affects our hatches. You can go ahead and open up this file yourself, browsing to a new file and going to your chapter 10 of your project files and opening up annotative, well, associative and annotative. I'll go ahead and cancel this out. Okay, let's add a few hatches just to see. I will activate the hatch command. I'll keep the defaults that I have right now and place a hatch there. And I'll go ahead and close this and exit out just to add one more hatch. Now this time when I add a hatch, let's check the options that we have and the settings that are there. The one I want to pay attention to is this one here that says send behind boundary. If I go ahead and choose this drop down menu, you see I can place the hatch at a certain location. We can send it to the back, send to the front, send behind the boundary, bring in front of boundary. By default right now, it's set to send behind boundary. Let's go ahead and put bring to front to see how that affects the hatch itself. I'm going to go ahead and make sure my hatch is associative as well. And I'll provide a hatch in this area here. And I will close out. Now let's look at this first hatch. If I choose to grab this rectangle area here because I want to make some adjustments, I can grab the line. I can grab one of these grips and I can pull it out. And it's very easy to do that. If I come to this area here and I decide to do the same thing, it's very difficult to grab this line. But on this side here, it's easy to grab the hatch by selecting it. And it's also easy to grab the hatch here by selecting it. The reason for this is because on this rectangle on the right side, the hatch is in front of the line work for the rectangle. As for the left side, the settings were to set the hatch behind the boundary itself. So that way I can go ahead and select the boundary very easily. On the right side, it's kind of interfering with us because the hatch itself is in front of the boundary. We can always go ahead and select this and we can always change the options here or we can go to the home tab and then we can go to the modify panel and we can use this icon here and it adjusts all the order of the hatching as well as the objects and various dimensions as well. So let's go ahead and put this as bring above objects, send to back. We'll just try that one for now, just so we can see what it's like. This one over here was set behind the boundary. This one we sent it completely to the back. Now if I choose to select the line again, it becomes very easy. So whenever you're providing hatches on top of layers and multiple objects and you can't exactly choose the one that you wish to choose, remember you can affect the draw order of when you select your objects. Well, what about these objects over here? I can go ahead and select one of these in the corner. I can select this one here too, but sometimes you might want to select the one in the back and if it's a more delicate object to select, you may not really be able to reach it. Well, there's an option down here that says selection cycling. I can go ahead and select that. And as I hover over, you see now I have a new little icon. If I select, I can select the object that I want from the selection or I can go ahead and use shift and press the space bar and I can cycle through my objects. I'll go ahead and double click to put everything into view. So that's how draw order can affect your designs when you're creating them.